Today we're going to talk about travel fatigue. What is it? What does it mean? What can you do if it happens to you? I'm David. This is Rob. We are a travel-loving couple who is here to give you an example of what is possible in long-term travel. Travel fatigue is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. You've been out traveling for a while, you've been doing all the things and seeing all the sights, and then all of a sudden, kind of out of nowhere sometimes, you can get overwhelmed by this kind of feeling of listlessness. You lose your motivation to do all the things you've been enjoying before then, just kind of doesn't seem so exciting anymore. It's this combination of mental and physical fatigue where you just lose your motivation. It can be very frustrating and sometimes kind of scary, especially if you're a new traveler and you haven't dealt with it before, but there are things you can do about it and we're gonna go through some of those today. For anyone experiencing travel fatigue, the first thing I recommend is to give it some space. Ask yourself the question, what does this mean? Because a lot of times, especially if it's the first time you're experiencing this, people kind of panic a little bit and start to think something permanent has changed, I was enjoying my trip, and now I'm not, and I can't enjoy it anymore, and I'm a complete failure of a traveler, and I'm never gonna be able to do this, and I'm now gonna have to go home, and all my hopes and dreams for my travels are ruined, and then on top of just feeling exhausted, you're feeling guilty, you start feeling shame, and it just kind of balloons into this bigger thing. So I encourage you, stop and take a breath. Because here is another perspective. Absolutely nothing has gone wrong. Travel fatigue can be a normal part of being a long-term traveler. All that it means is that it is time for you to up-level your skills as a long-term traveler so that you know how to deal with it. It is not a time to panic and think everything has gone wrong. It's just a chance for you to get curious about what you're doing, give yourself some grace for being a very normal human, and figure out what it is that you can do about it to make yourself feel better. The next thing you need to do is slow down. Now, We've all heard the expression to take a vacation from your vacation, and that's exactly what you want to do here. Of course, as long-term travelers, we don't consider our travel a vacation. It's just our regular life, and everyone needs a vacation from life. Sometimes that travel fatigue just happens because you're moving at an unsustainable pace. I know, I remember the first time it really happened to us. We had been traveling through Central America for a couple of months, through Mexico and Guatemala, and we were running. We, we never stopped. We were moving every couple of days, going to a new place, seeing a new thing. We were in Spanish language class. It was exhausting mentally yes. and physically. Yes, so we hit Belize, and we went to, I think it was Key Cocker, little island, and I just collapsed. I was so exhausted. And so this is what I did. I gave myself permission to not get out of bed. I just was like, we're here for a week and I'm gonna sit in this bed and I'm gonna watch TV and do nothing. And just giving myself permission to do that made me feel so much better. I really only stayed in bed, I think one day. And after that, we started going out to eat. We started going and watching the sunset and watching the sunrise and, I, we actually went and did a snorkeling trip there. That is some of the best Amazing. snorkeling I have ever done in my life. But it's all because that first day when we got there, I just gave myself permission to chill out. And then I started feeling better. It was just sort of that pressure of, we have to plan what's coming next. I want to make sure, you know, we're here. We'll probably never come back here. And I have to see all the things and do all the things. And the truth is, you don't have to. I mean, we've definitely found that we go back to places we want to go back to, so you never really have to think, I'll never come back here again, because maybe you will if you want to. But even if you don't, there's not some like checklist that you're a bad traveler if you don't check off. Yeah, and you get that, that social stigma of, oh my gosh, I have to do things while I'm there because I have this opportunity. And yeah. you don't. And you can don't. just sit and do nothing. You can enjoy what you want to enjoy. <laughs> you have to keep yourself, make it sustainable so that you can keep doing it going forward. We release a new video every Sunday, so if you're enjoying this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now that you've slowed down and are taking a little break, the next thing you want to do is focus on your health. Are you getting enough sleep? 
Are you drinking enough water? Make sure you're actually eating good food, whatever that means for wherever you are. You wanna be eating healthy things that are gonna make your body feel better. Another one that you might wanna think about is just paying attention to your alcohol intake. If you're drinking because you're, you know, you're feeling uncomfortable with that exhaustion and you're trying to cover it up, that's probably not going to work out in the long run. You need to get through it. You don't need to just cover it up. And the other thing about drinking a lot of alcohol especially is that, you know, people think of alcohol as a depressant. And so when you drink it at first, it's going to make you sleepy and it, maybe you're going to pass out on the couch and get a great hour or two of sleep. But as your liver starts to metabolize that alcohol, the metabolites actually disrupt your sleep and the rest of the night you're not gonna sleep as well. So I'm not saying don't drink, but just be intentional with your drinking to make sure that it's supporting your overall health plan. Also remember to get exercise and that can be whatever you want it to be. Either go to the gym if you want to, there are gyms all over the world, or just take a walk in the park, just get out and move your body get those muscles and the blood flowing yeah we often feel better just taking a walk together and talking through our day and it makes me it just clears my brain it makes me feel so much yeah. better and also when you get outside you get that sunshine and i know there have been days when we are just working on our videos or on other things that we have to work on and we're inside the house all day long and when we finally walk outside we realize ah oh, this is what we needed. We just yeah. needed a little sunshine and everything is okay. Another thing to consider when taking care of yourself is food fatigue. This can be a real thing. If you're traveling in a country with unfamiliar foods and you're eating unfamiliar foods every day for a long time, sometimes you want a hamburger and that is okay. Eat a hamburger. Sometimes just changing up the routine can really make you feel a lot better. Another thing that might be affecting your travel fatigue is homesickness. We've all left people behind. We are traveling for months and months at a time, not seeing a lot of our friends and loved ones. And so this can really wear on us if we're not paying attention to it. Do things to help yourself out. Text your friends every day. Um, set up a video call with your grandkids. Just really make those connections. Be really deliberate about that because just even making those decisions can make you feel better. One of the things that we have recently found, and this was really surprising to me as, as introverts, we can kind of go a long time without really needing to talk to people mm -hmm. or thinking that we need to talk to other people. We joined a group, it's called Go With Less. It's a Facebook group. If you're not in that group, I encourage you to go take a look at them. But it is a, their primary focus is as a social group where they have meetups all around the world and you get to meet other people who are traveling. Like I was not prepared how powerful it can be when you actually are meeting people that are living the same life that you're having. They're making the same choices. They value the same things. And that can be incredibly powerful and uplifting to be able to have that kind of support. The first time we did it, we were in Kuala Lumpur. It was a group of 40 people who were there for a month and it was just completely amazing. We made friends that we are still in touch with to this day. I really encourage you, take a look at Go With Less. I think they're a great option. There are probably many others, but find those social connections so that you can be social with other travelers who are living the same life that you're living because that is really gonna help you get through these periods where it's difficult. A side effect of that is when you meet up with people, they'll invite you to go out to do other things. It's someone to join you at the park or on a walk or going to a ruin. So that's really helps when you lose motivation to do things yourself, you'll have someone to do things with. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do as you start feeling better is take a look at your future plans. You know, sometimes we plan things out a long time in advance and you just have to periodically review that plan. Is this still what I wanna do? Is this still meeting my needs? Or have I realized I want something a little bit different and I need to change those plans a little bit? You know, have you planned for another vacation? You know, in a month from now, four months from now, you know, plan, I'm gonna spend a week on a beach and I'm gonna do nothing and give myself permission to do nothing. And, you know, just figure that out in your plan. However that's gonna look like for you, whatever is gonna work for you, make sure those future plans reflect that. 
So we want to hear from you. Do you think you're going to get tired of long-term travel? What are the things that you do to combat travel fatigue when you have it? Please let us know in the comments below. Today.